Hi everybody and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Welcome if you're new. Thank you for tuning in and for all of my returning subscribers, welcome back to this video and to my channel where I'm going to be talking to you guys about the hummingbird spirit animal and animal totem. What does it mean when you actually see a hummingbird inside of your life? What are the messages that this bird is trying to tell you? What is the symbolism behind the hummingbird, okay? So I'm gonna be going into deep details about this bird and what it's trying to tell you, how it's trying to guide you inside of your life, and how to actually interpretate what the hummingbird is specifically pointing to inside of your personal life, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what the hummingbird has to teach us. Okay guys, so I'm out here in the cold, 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 cold winter, but that's okay. I'm keeping my spirits up, I'm keeping positivity up, I'm staying optimistic, and it's good that I'm doing this because when it comes to the hummingbird, it's all about optimism, and it's all about feeling lightness inside of life, okay? When you think about the hummingbird, you're thinking about this beautiful, magnificent, beautiful bird that has some really beautiful features. The hummingbird is very small. Like, it's literally very, very small, okay? For a bird to have wings of that size and move as fast as the hummingbird moves is simply incredible. So what this bird is trying to tell you with its light weight and its light ways of moving throughout, this, throughout the um, air is it's trying to tell you to think, have a more lightweight, um, have a more lightweight type of perception towards life. Make sure that you're having that type of lightheartedness inside of life. If you're going through an experience in life where you're feeling very negative, where you're feeling very pessimistic, where you're feeling like um, you might be focusing on the dark stuff and you might be focusing on the negatives, you might see that the hummingbird will pop into your life. You might see it outside of your window. You could even see it as an image on um, a billboard, an image somewhere in your life. You could see it on the computer screen, but it can come to you. And if you feel like the moments that you see the hummingbird, that it is speaking to you intuitively, then really hone on to that as telling you and guiding you to make sure that you are looking at life in a more positive way, in a more optimistic way, and that you are able to look at life for the good and not focus so much on the bad, okay? So the hummingbird can come into your life to tell you to make sure that you're having lightheartedness towards your life and whatever situation it is that you're actually experiencing. Another thing the hummingbird represents is adaptability. If you notice, this hummingbird is one of the only birds that can move that fast at that speed. Its wings move extremely fast and it's capable of adapting to air element. It's capable of moving from side to side very swiftly and quickly and in, at the same time very um, lightly and with a lot of grace. It's capable of bending backwards, it's capable of moving forward, it's capable of just moving and adapting throughout the air element. So this bird can also be coming into your life to tell you that you might have to be um, willing to approach life in through different perspectives to be more adaptable in life, okay? To be able to bend whichever way when it comes to a specific situation that you may be going through or when it comes to um, a specific um, journey that you're on or something that you might be thinking about the moments that you see this bird, okay? And then lastly, the hummingbird can come into your life to tell you to be grateful. Yes, be grateful, open your heart, and make sure that you're spreading your love to other people. Because when you notice what the hummingbird does, the hummingbird is all about sweetness. It's all about happiness. It's all about being positive and being joyful. So the hummingbird has its long beak, long, long beak that it used to go and get 
nectar out of the flowers, which is very sweet, right? But what you'll notice the hummingbird does, the hummingbird doesn't stay on one flower for very long. It just takes a little bit of nectar and it moves on to the next flower. And the reason why the hummingbird does this is because the hummingbird actually knows that it's not the only one that is taking out nectar from the flower. The hummingbird is being grateful and it's spreading its love and it's making room and leaving some for others. It's just taking what it needs and leaving the rest for others. So it is showing action of spreading love because it's making sure that it's moving from one flower to another in order to leave nectar for the bees and the other birds and the other creatures and insects that actually need to survive off of the nectar of the flower as well. So the hummingbird could be actually coming into your life to tell you to make sure that you only take what you need and leave the rest for others. It's telling you to not practice greediness and instead practice um, selflessness, okay? It's telling you to basically spread love, spread sweetness, and be kind. Open up your heart chakra and be kind, okay? Open up your heart, look at the positives in life. Be more adaptable. Be more um, receptive, okay? So this is some feminine energy going on with the hummingbird. But these are the things that the hummingbird means. Now, when it comes to actually understanding which symbolism or meaning behind the hummingbird is directed towards your personal life and your personal journey and your personal situation, it comes down to tapping into your intuition. I'm just here as a messenger to tell you what this animal represents through my experience with this animal. However, you have to be able to tap into your own intuition and trust your own inner guidance to understand exactly what the hummingbird is talking about. What is it that you were experiencing the moment that you actually saw the hummingbird? What was it that you were feeling, okay? Were you feeling like you were stuck? Were you feeling like there was, you were inside of some type of negative situation? Were you feeling like you were focusing solely on the negatives inside of your life? Were you feeling like you weren't moving much, that you weren't being very um, adaptable and connected with air element? This bird can tell you to connect more with air element and be more adaptable, okay? Um, or have you been loving? Have you been accepting love inside of your life? And have you been sharing love? Have you been selfish, selfless or have you been selfish? These are some of the things that you need to pay attention to and basically make sure that you tap into your empathy skills. Make sure that you tap into your ability to be receptive and um, take in the experience so that way you can analyze it and you can feel it and you can understand what it is the hummingbird is actually trying to tell you inside of your specific life, okay? But overall, those are the real general meanings for the hummingbird. Even though my hands are freezing cold right now, I'm looking at the bright side. I'm looking at the fact that I'm capable of spreading my love to you about the hummingbird and what the meaning for the hummingbird is. I'm looking at the positives in life. I'm looking at the things that I'm grateful for. And I'm only taking what I need and leaving the rest for others, okay? So that is what the hummingbird is all about. I really hope that this video could help you understand in details what the hummingbird is all about and how to interpret it inside of your life and pay attention to your intuition as well. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet. And obviously hit that like button if you're liking this video as well. And if you want any of my healing services, any of my spiritual services, my information will be inside of the description box below. So you can contact me through there. Don't forget to hit the bell notification as well so you can see an update every time I make a video, okay? So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Really appreciate all the love. Much love to you as well, and I'll see you guys inside of the next video. Bye-bye.